Hi, today is my birthday and I'm sitting at the beach journaling with God and I wanted to share with you some of the awesome things that God said. So um, let me start with my part. God guide me, help me to have clarity, health, lots of positive cash flow, love and friendship with the right partner and an amazing new year. I surrender my attachments, expectations and desires and allow for you to mold my life in your glory. God, what is your message for me? And God replied, Tiffany, I love you. You are loved. Thank you for choosing to come back to this planet and be of service. I know that sometimes it's hard and there is a lot of suffering that you witness and experience. I know that at times you feel mad and lost, wondering why you're here, which is all an illusion. You're here for a reason and you're doing your purpose. Sometimes you just forget that as you let the misty haze of Maya come over you. My wish for you is to remember who you are and why you're here. It's not necessary to put that extra pressure to be and do more. You're doing enough. Lessen this pressure, do it now, or it could lead to health challenges down the road. Your intention to simplify your life is right on track. You're heading in the right direction. And then I asked, I said, God, how do I cultivate a better friendship with you, myself, and others? God replied, open your heart. Always speak from your heart, even think from your heart. This way, everything you do is coated with love. I asked, what happens when I'm feeling stressed, hurt, lost, upset, or lonely? It tends to be more elusive to find my heart. What do I do then? God said, even in the worst of moods, just stop. Stop looking down at your heart. Oh, oh, just stop. Look down at your heart and smile. Touch it. Breathe into it. Find yourself in your heart. You may also do the Twin Hearts meditation, journal with me, dance, or do some physicality to change your state of being. It's a choice. You always have a choice to come from love. It isn't a challenge when you decide that it's easy. I replied, thank you, God. This is such wisdom. What are good intentions and commitments for me to consider in this new sun cycle? God gave me a list of bullet points, so I'm just going to read you the bullet points. Simplify your life. Come from love. Open up to be even better at receiving and asking for help. Let love and friendship with the right partner happen. Spend more time in nature. Honor your body by talking to it, feeding it more. Oops. Honor your body by talking to it, feeding it more simple, healthy, alkaline foods. Moving it regularly and often through exercise, dance, a not vinyal method, yoga, walking, and sex. Do more self-healing on your physical body. Learn to love this planet and all the people as I do. Then you will know the true meaning of love and acceptance. And I responded, thank you, my beloved friend, XO. So this is my journal for today, and I just wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and check out more of my video blogs at tiffanycano.com. Thank you.